Well, we have discovered the most melodramatic characters ever in The Three Musketeers. In chapter 29, Porthos was talking to the procurator's, the lawyer's wife, to whom he had written before, asking for money, and she had totally ignored him. So now he's been working hard to make her jealous, and his mopey tricks are working. So she was all, Have you no friends in Paris then, Monsieur Porthos? I thought I had. But I've been taught my mistake. But you do have some. You do. Come to our house tomorrow. You will be the son of my aunt, consequently my cousin. You come from Nyon in Picardy. You have several lawsuits and no attorney. Can you remember all of that? Perfectly, madam. Come at dinner time. Very well. And be upon your guard before my husband, who is rather shrewd, notwithstanding his seventy-six years. Seventy-six years? Damn, that's a fine age. A great age, you mean, Monsieur Porthos. Yes, the poor man may be expected to leave me a widow at any minute. Fortunately, by our marriage contract, everything goes to our last survivor. Everything? Everything. Everything? Everything. I see you are a woman of foresight, my dear Madame Coquinard. We are then reconciled, dear Monsieur Porthos? For life. Till we meet again, then, my darling traitor. Till we meet again, my forgetful charmer. Till tomorrow, my angel. Till tomorrow, flame of my life. And you know what that reminds me of? You love me? You bet your boots it does. Oh, my only love. Taffeta, darling. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, Freddy. So yeah, that's where they get this stuff from the old classics.